Anorexia is an eating disorder. It's diagnosed when people are 15% under the healthy body weight range. It affects about 1% of the population and it's more common in girls. However, it is on the increase in boys. It often develops in the teenage years and it's more common in the West and in some professions such as models and dancers where being thin is considered important. People with anorexia can see themselves as fat even when they are very thin. There's a question over whether media images can lead to anorexia. Media images of thin celebrities and models promote the idea of a thin body being the ideal body shape. This hasn't always been the case. In the past, a more curvaceous body has been considered attractive. So a girl may think that as many celebrities and models in the media are really thin, that she needs to be thin to be successful and popular too. Social learning theory says that we learn behaviour through observing models. Girls may develop anorexia through observing thin models in the media. Social learning theory involves four processes, attention, retention, reproduction and motivation. Girls may pay attention to thin models and celebrities in the media. They retain the fact that they are very thin. They have the ability to reproduce being thin by dieting excessively. And they may be motivated to be thin because they may think that is what is required to be successful. Girls may see models being praised and admired for being thin. This will make them more likely to want to be thin too. People are more likely to copy a behaviour if they see the model rewarded. This is called vicarious reinforcement. Anorexia nervosa may also develop through operant conditioning, which is learning through consequences. If you diet and people praise you for losing weight, you may continue. If people bully you for being fat, you may want to diet too. People may start dieting to stop being bullied, and this is a form of negative reinforcement. Classical conditioning is learning through association. Anorexia may develop because a person associates food with anxiety. So what evidence is there that media images can lead to anorexia? Becker et al. 2002 found that girls living on the island of Fiji started developing eating disorders only after the introduction of Western TV channels and the idea of thin being beautiful. NASA compared Egyptian women studying in Cairo with similar Egyptian women studying in London. In Egypt, having a fuller figure is considered more beautiful. They found that 12% of those living in London developed eating disorder symptoms compared to 0% in Cairo. The fact that women are more likely to develop eating disorders in Western cultures where being thin is considered attractive suggests that the media does play a part in the development of anorexia. But as not everyone in the West develops anorexia, despite being exposed to the same media images, this suggests there must be other factors involved. Genes may play a part in the development of anorexia. Also, the fact that anorexia tends to develop during adolescence suggests that it might be linked to a fear of growing up, which is a psychodynamic explanation. If you want to get more of my revision materials, you can buy my Edexcel and AQA revision guides on Amazon.co.uk. There are also resources on psychologydon.com.